All right, I thought I'd do an update on the gamma. This is basically the progression. This is just the gamma X stringer. Hey, you got my finger in the camera. This is the X streamer, X stringer. They're same tension head, same, pretty much the same. This is just extruded aluminum, or the uh, progression has a, a cast iron base with plastic over it. So we'll try to go through it. It's pretty much the same machine. You can tell from the panel. The panel's a little bit different. Uh, this will return your tension head. If your tension head ever gets stuck, you hit that and it'll back your tension head off. Uh, this is your settings. Um, and I'm gonna tell you, I don't know everything on this machine. I'm just getting a brief look here. LMH, I'm not sure, but it backs up. I'd almost think uh, that that is pull speed maybe, low, medium, and high. And that would be high. This is your beeper or noise. It'll turn it on, turn it off. That's all you get. Uh, you have, looks like, nine memories. Uh, you can go up or down in pounds or in tenths. Same thing with kilos. You can go down, up or down in tenths or full kilos. Uh, this is just a button to select whatever you're telling it, probably in settings. Uh, SLM, that one, I don't know. So one of you guys probably helped me on that one. Uh, oh, I know exactly what that is. That's for when you're measuring string, but this machine doesn't have that. Uh, kilos and pounds. Just push the button. Let's see, you gotta hold the button for about two seconds. Uh, Pre-stretch and your knot button. And your knot button goes up by 10 pounds. Uh, other than that, I mean button. Just like the old one, just instead of a little plastic one, it's a little metal one. Uh, you still have the trays. Uh, let's see if I can get them out. You got trays on the end. I just, I can't get them out. I got a little push button. Okay. Go in the bottom. There's a push button. You got to hit the little push button and pull it out. Okay. Trays on the end. A tool tray here. Uh, it looks like pretty much somebody, this is not me stringing by the way, table lock is still underneath, down here, somebody didn't have it turned off, they had it half on, that's why it was making that clicking noise, we turn them off. Uh, clamps are pretty much, from what I can tell, the same as the old gamma clamps. The base clamps look the same. But I can't get really get underneath. But the old clamps, if you remember, they were like a, I don't know if they were aluminum or a stainless steel on the bottom. These are more like the uh, Wilson, I guess, sort of, kind of. It's more of a composite material on the bottom. It's not metal. So I think that's probably better. Uh, everything else really looks to be about the same. I mean... These a little bit different, but not too much. Uh, they don't have the screws on the bottom. The old ones had, a, you know, a little finger nut that you could tighten when loosen them. This one does not. This has an Allen head screw on the bottom. Um, and again, they're fixing to cut these strings out, I believe. I'm at a university match, and they let me in here because they just bought this thing. But anyway, I mean, other than a few modifications i like the polar head i just think it looks better uh, i like the base clamps a little bit better i mean they're the same base clamp except for uh not being the metal you adjust them the same way there's a nut underneath and it came with a wrench to do that adjustment but other than that uh just an updated view uh, the new progression X stringer and like I said the EL the progression ELS is going to be pretty much exactly the same but there you go I have any questions I guess you can feel free to ask me but I don't have access to this very often but I'll try to answer them if I can